More troubling, though, is when Sarah Palin endorsed Jeff Flake for the United States Senate in 2012 when Jeff Flake, again, was an open borders pimp who changed his position a la John McCain to try and garner votes and confuse the issue. She should have known better. Now, to her credit, and we, we welcome those who suddenly undergo conversions. Now she's talking about primaries for Marco Rubio and Kelly Ayotte, Rubio in Florida, Kelly Ayotte there in New Hampshire. She's late to the party, but at least she's finally getting there. And, uh, you know, I guess better late than never, but I understand the impulse of gratitude toward McCain. I mean, he put her on the map. Uh, picking her for the ticket. So I understand that. But in 2012, supporting Jeff Flake, who, by the way, a la Anthony Weiner, did his own self-photography, although he set it up as if it were some sort of um, beefcake calendar. You know, this guy went to some deserted Pacific island, just he himself, his tripod, his camera, and a timer, and was taking all these weird beefcake photos of himself, Look, I understand that people who get into politics don't suffer from a shortage of self, uh, self-esteem. self But this Flake guy, who I've known for years, and he's aptly named, he himself will admit it, this guy has a level of toxic narcissism. And so I don't understand Palin supporting him for the Senate. I understand the McCain thing. I'll give her a pass there 